of the last meeting on July 19th. Yep, and um, Mr. Greg Schooley is gonna help me with my, I'm gonna put my notes up on the screen so the people in the stands can see. And um, if you could share that screen, Greg, on Zoom. Okay, so uh, this is a recap of action uh, um, at, that took place at the July 19 Special City Council meeting. The meeting was called to order at 6.01. All council members were present. I announced receipt of supplemental communications for admin item one, which was 21 emails. We had 22 in-person speakers and three call-in speakers. Item number one, administrative items, actually failed. We failed to appoint a candidate to serve the remaining term of former council member Jacob Tito Ortiz. Our city manager at that time reviewed actions taken to date by council to address the current vacancy and described the rounds process approved on July 10 to appoint a candidate by majority vote. In round one, Mayor Carr invited each council in order of seniority to submit up to three final candidates for consideration. Council Mo uh, Posey, um, announced Jeff Marin, Charles Ray, and John Pikarski. Councilmember Del Glaze announced John Scandura, Janice Mantini, and Jeff Marin. Councilmember Peterson announced Gracie Vandermark. Councilmember Cal Kalmick announced Rhonda Bolton and Oscar Rodriguez. Councilmember Mosier announced Oscar Rodriguez, Rhonda Bolton, Jenny Braithwaite. And Mayor Carr announced Rhonda Bolton, Oscar Rodriguez, and Jenny Braithwaite. This meant that in round two, we uh, narrowed the field down to nine candidates, and Mayor Carr asked that each council member vote for their ca top candidate from that field of nine. Council member Kalmick voted for Rhonda Bolton, Mosier, Oscar Rodriguez, Posey, Jeff Marin, Carr, Rhonda Bolton, Del Glaze, Jeff Marin, and Peterson, Vandermark. That, that list then became a list of four. In round three, council member Carr asked each council member for vote for their top candidate from the new list, which was Rhonda Bolton, Jeff Marin, Oscar Rodriguez, and Gracie Vandermark. Peterson voted Vandermark, Del Glaze, Jeff Marin, Carr, Bolton, Posey, Marin, Mosier, Bolton, and Kalmick, Bolton. In round four, council member Carr asked for each council member, I'm sorry, Mayor Carr, Mayor Carr vote, asked for each council member to vote for their top candidate from the new list of three, and that was Rhonda Bolton, Jeff Marin, and Gracie Vandermark. In that round, Cal Mick voted Rhonda Bolton, Mosier, Rhonda Bolton, Posey, Jeff Marin, Carr, Rhonda Bolton, Del Glaze, Jeff Marin, and Peterson, Gracie Vandermark. In round five, Council, uh, Mayor Carr asked each council member to vote on top candidates from the list of three again. Rhonda Bolton, Jeff Marin, and Gracie Vandermark. In round five, Peterson voted Vandermark. Del Glaze, Jeff Marin. Carr, Rhonda Bolton. Posey, Jeff Marin. Mosier, Rhonda Bolton, and Kalmick, Rhonda Bolton. Then a motion was made by Posey, second Peterson, to call for a special election to fill the vacant council seat. The motion failed by the following vote. The no's were Del Glaze, Carr, Mosier, and Kalmick. In round six, without a support to call for a uh, without support to call for a special election, Mayor Carr asked each council member to vote again on the top candidates from the list of three: Rhonda Bolton, Jeff Marin, Gracie Vandermark. Here are those results: Carr, Rhonda Bolton, Del Glaze, Jeff Marin, Posey, Jeff Marin. Peterson, Gracie Vandermark, Mosier, Rhonda Bolton, Kalmick, Rhonda Bolton. At 7.18 p.m., council took a brief recess and reconvened at 7.28. In round seven, by a vote of 5-1, Peterson voting no, the council voted to cast either a yes or no vote for each of the top three candidates. Individuals' uh, votes taken for candidates resulted as follows. For Gracie Vandermark, there were two ayes, Peterson and Posey, and four noes, Del Glaze, Carr, Moser, and Kalmick. For Jeff Marin, there were two ayes, Del Glaze and Posey, and, and four noes, Peterson, Carr, Moser, and Kalmick. For Rhonda Bolton, three ayes, Carr, Moser, and Kalmick, and three noes, Peterson, Del Glaze, and Posey. Mayor Carr 
called for discussion on motion to reconsider a call for holding a special election. City Manager Chi reiterated details associated with holding a special election, date, costs, candidate timeline. A motion was made by Del Glaze, second Peterson, to call for a special election to fill the vacant council seat. The motion failed by the following vote. There were three ayes, Peterson, Del Glaze, and Posey, and three noes, Carr, Mosier, and Kalmick. Then discussion took place by the council on alternatives. Round eight started with a motion by Carr, a second by Kalmick to call for a yes or no vote to appoint candidate Rhonda Bolton. The um, ayes were Carr, Mosier, and Kalmick, noes, Peterson, Del Glaze, and Posey. There was a recess at 7.59. The meeting reconvened at 8.15 and round eight continued. Mayor Carr continued by asking council to cast either a yes or vote no, uh, no vote, sorry, for the remaining two top candidates, Jeff Morin and Gracie Vandermark. For Jeff Morin, the results, two ayes, Del Glaze and Posey, and four noes, Peterson, Carr, Mosier, and Kalmick. For Gracie Vandermark, two ayes, Peterson and Posey, and four noes, Del Glaze, Carr, Mosier, and Kalmick. A motion was then made by Posey, seconded by Peterson to adjourn to August 1st. A substitute motion was made by Carr to adjourn to July 31st, and Carr received no second. An additional substitute motion was made by Kalmick, which was seconded by Carr to adjourn and reconvene the special meeting within the next seven days to continue the process of appointing a candidate to the vacant, vacated council seat. And the substitute motion passed by the following vote. There were four, I'm sorry, five ayes, Del Glaze, Carr, Posey, Mosier, and Kalmick, and one no, Peterson, and the meeting adjourned at 819. Does that conclude your report? That concludes my report. Thank you, Robin, I appreciate it. Okay, so I think you did a great job of summarizing where we are right now with the three remaining candidates of Rhonda Bolton, uh, Jeff Moran and Gracie Vandermark. So um, we have the option to reconsider those candidates. We can also take a look at a special election. Um, but Mayor Pro Tem Del Glaze, you want to you want to say something? Yeah. Um, thank you, Mayor. I have uh, and share that with the, everyone here. Um, so let me just say. Things seem to always work out here in uh, Surf City, USA. For good or bad, life has a way of riding a ship in the storms of life. For, further, Huntington Beach is a resilient city. We have a can-do attitude, complete with a big heart of gratitude and resolve. Huntington Beach generally is seeking to do the right next thing. Whether my colleagues decide the next council member tonight or prefer a special election, a year from now, we can all hopefully reflect and say with certainty that the council's action was measured and not anchored in political agenda. That has been the community's strength for generations. It's Huntington Beach's DNA to continue striving to improve the quality of life for our residents while maintaining a unique sense of place within Southern California and our country. As you know, with the resignation of Mr. Ortiz, before the end of his term, we are obliged by the city charter to put out a call for applicants to fill his unexpired term. We were astonished by more than 100 qualified applications to fill this position. This response is a testament to what we know about the residents of Huntington Beach. They are engaged and they truly care about our city. Likewise, City Council members also care greatly about our city. We will rise to the occasion to do what's best for our city that has always shown strength and in its diversity. Its willingness to embrace a fresh perspective and to try innovative ideas, such as Be Well HB Hope Van, our downtown trolley, the Moby Mat, uh, easy access to the beach, and when we needed to, the arose, when the need arose, the city quickly responded and adapted to keeping the city open, assisting our local businesses and residents in need during COVID. It has always been my way to seek perspective from our residents, and this issue is no different. 
Very many people have told me they don't want the city to incur the considerable expense of a special election to settle this issue. They want the city council to do their job as our char charter decrees and select a candidate to fulfill the position. I have reviewed all the applications and one candidate does stand out for me with her professionalism and diverse background, numerous business positions. A local business leader shared with me recently that this individual is someone that doesn't rush to judgment. She makes well-researched, measured decisions, and I believe she would be a complement to our city council by bringing expertise in leadership and business knowledge for these reasons. I have made a decision that I will be casting my vote tonight for Rhonda Bolton. With that, I would like to make a motion to appoint Rhonda Bolton to the vacant seat. I'll second that motion. So I'd like to make a substitute motion. Second first. No, we, we, we have a first and a second. He, he can make, yeah, no, go ahead. You're he can second. make the substitute. If he gets a second, we'll vote on that first. I would like to make a substitute motion that we hold a special election. Um, please. I'll second please, that. Please let me finish. Please let me finish. Well, actually, Mr. Posey, I, I believe that that motion is out of order because the charter is pretty explicit in that it says that you should only have a special election if the council fails to appoint. I'll second that motion. Thank you. The council needs to deliberate. We can't do that if you're shouting. We can't hear each other. So, okay, I, I, I'm sorry. You please be quiet so that we can maintain order. Thank you. Otherwise, I will ask, have to have the chambers cleared. So please. Go I ahead. believe that we have, you have a substitute. We have Mr. Posey's yes. substitute motion. Thank you. Seconded by Peterson on your screen. Go ahead and vote. Okay, the motion fails, two, four. Wow. Council members Del Glaze, Carr, Posey, I mean uh, Mosier and Cal McVoting, no. Okay, we're waiting for the next. All right, the original motion should be on your screen now. Go ahead and vote. The motion to appoint the, excuse me, please. Um, Bobby, can you please excuse or escort her out? Thank you. All right. Go ahead. The motion. Go ahead, Robin. The motion to appoint Rhonda Bolton to the city council passes 4-2 with council members Peterson and Posey voting no. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Um, thank you to my colleagues. Um, and I believe everyone settle down. Settle down. Thank you. Um, we're going to call for a 10 minute recess so that we can get everybody to calm down. 10 minute recess. Thank you. Okay. Well, welcome back, everybody. At this time, we're going to go ahead and swear in Rhonda Bolton as our newest council member. Robin, bring on up. Uh, 
I state your name. I, Rhonda Bolton. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter as a Huntington Beach City Council member upon which I am about to enter as a Huntington Beach City Council member Congratulations, Council Member Rhonda Bolton. Um, I look forward to having you serve us here at the dais. Welcome to your new seat. Right over there. <laughs> right over there. I had to push it down so I could So with that, I'm going to go ahead, welcome you. Um, Council members, did you want to make any comments or we'll go ahead and adjourn this meeting to the next, okay. We'll go ahead and we'll adjourn this meeting to our next regularly scheduled meeting, which will be August 3rd at 5 p.m. Thank you everybody and congratulations, Rhonda. <laughs>